Well, hello everyone and welcome to another very exciting episode here on the MI Gardener channel. I know this one is going to help a lot of you out that are trying organic gardening, but you really get frustrated with the holes in your broccoli and your cabbage and your cauliflower and your kale and your Swiss chard, things like that, that uh, just seem to be plagued by chewing caterpillars. This might also help those that are suffering from tomato hornworm. Again, a very frustrating pest in the garden. If you go away for two, three days at a time and you get tomato hornworm, you might come back with half a plant decimated. I've seen horrible, horrible aftermath stories of tomato hornworm. This will also take care of that. This will also help with those of you that are battling with tent caterpillars in your peach trees and your, your pear trees and apple trees. Um, this will also help with people suffering from leaf curling caterpillars on your uh, peppers. So this episode really should cover just about everyone. And we use one thing here in the garden and I'm very open about it, it is 100% organic. I am so proud to, uh, to say that our garden is 100% organic. So we're very, very strict in what we use. And the only thing that we use to get rid of all of those problems assuming we can't take care of it with our high intensity intercropping method. That's the first way. If, if any of you have ever seen that episode that we filmed, that's our first method. That's our first line of defense is our intercropping high intensity methods with herbs and other plants working together kind of symbiotically to take care of those pests to mask the scent of you know whatever plant uh, the pests are attracted to. So. That is our number one choice. Our number two choice is a guaranteed success. You will not have problems, I promise, after you use this. Now, what I do wanna say is that this, this product that we're going to show you all, it is called BT. It actually stands for, well, BT, it's uh, the, the shortened, just kind of abbreviated term of Bacillus thurigen, thurid, thurin, genesis gen, you know what i mean it's yeah it's a bacteria and that bacteria is a beneficial bacteria that when you spray it on your plants um, if it gets comes in contact with those caterpillars the the bt will actually come inside the caterpillar and consume it it's a bac it's a it's a flesh-eating bacteria you know from all those science those all those science fiction movies so yeah, so that's what we use, um, and it works so effectively. Um, and so that's all it is. It's just a concentrated solution. Oh, there goes a culprit right there. <laughs> that's a cabbage moth, if you saw that thing flutter by. They're very pretty, but uh, pretty is not always good for the garden. So um, <laughs> that is a devious little thing. And um, so yeah, that's the cabbage moth. That lays the egg for the cabbage looper, and that is one of the things that we are going to be battling today. So anyways, yeah, so we sell here this, this eight fluid ounce concentrate. This is what we use on the garden. And after we use this, the plants are worm free. Now, what I do want to state is that this does not prevent it in the future. You have to spray your plants. This is basically like a preventative. Um, God, there's another one. It, it looks like a fairy garden out here with like all these little fairies flying around uh, in the mornings. There's like probably 10 or 12 of them right now that I can see. And it's just, ugh, I hate them. Um, <laughs> so again, this only kind of stops the life cycle. If you see those white, those white moths flying around, you have to spray again and again. And we typically will come back about every two to three weeks and spray this on our plants because you have to actually come in contact with the, you know, once you start to see the signs of the pest, then is a good time to spray. You don't wanna just spray your plants willy nilly without seeing any signs because then you're kind of just wasting it to be honest. So we're going to mix this up here. Um, it says mix a half to four teaspoons per gallon of water. Do not use a half. I will state, do not use a half. Don't use any less than two teaspoons. Um, it is just, it's pointless to be honest. I, I don't know why they use a half on there. And I, and I do apologize if any of you have bought this and did not know that. Um, the half is just so ineffective, we found, um, especially against cabbage loopers, because 
the thing is is that you have to have enough of the you have to have enough of the bacteria in here to even make a difference and cabbage loopers are so re resilient they get in the cracks and the crevices and so you might not get a lot of back if you're only using a half teaspoon you're not going to get a lot of bacteria you know in those cracks and crevices to land on those cabbage loopers so um let's go ahead and spray it now though i got myself a gallon of water here forgot i pumped it <laughs> i don't know why i pumped it um so we're just going to eyeball it here all right there we go about three teaspoons or so. Alrighty. Shake this up and let's go spray our kale. Now the nice thing about using BT is that a lot of people ask if it's safe for beneficial insects and absolutely. The only thing that BT affects is harmful caterpillars in the garden. So you really do not have to worry about your bees or your ladybugs or um, you know your beneficial nematodes, even those types of soil bacteria and stuff, um, earthworms, you don't have to worry about it. They just don't affect it. Um, and that's actually brings up another really good point. Earthworms are not affected by BT. Um, they are not uh, <laughs> what BT searches out. So it's a, it's a very good, it's a very good solution for organic gardeners, and I absolutely love it. So, you know, we are, we're nearing the hot months, uh, the hottest months of the growing season, and that's when the cabbage loopers start to really come out in full force. That in the fall months. We don't get them in the spring or the summer as much, but the end of the summer and the fall is when it just gets plagued. So what you want to do is you just want to spray it down heavily. Don't hold back. Spray the undersides of the leaves too. And it doesn't do any good to spray the moths. I mean, you can spray the moths, but <laughs> at that point, it's just, it does nothing. Because it only searches out the caterpillars, not the moths. And I will reiterate too, that this is optional. I mean, I personally, if I'm, t if I'm giving away my produce, I personally, myself, do not need to do this uh, because I can eat cabbage with holes in it. I can eat kale with holes in it. It still tastes like kale. And as, as long as you wash it off, I mean, there's a chance there could be a little, a little poopy on the leaves, but um, you know, if you wash it off well, you have nothing to worry about, honestly, and it still tastes the same. Now, uh, for those that I'm, you know, I'm giving produce to, maybe it's the soup kitchen, or maybe it's, um, maybe it's the, uh, you know, a family, uh, family member or a friend. There's people, you know, that you want, you want to get them hooked on organic produce and the taste of it, and the idea of it, um, and it's good to start them out on produce that's that's not as holy as uh, Swiss cheese. Um, <laughs> and so, you know. It's, it's just personal preference. You know, if you're someone that doesn't like the holes, this is really gonna be effective for you, honestly, because it really stops it in the tracks. I have never had a problem after using it. Um, the, the problem almost stops overnight. And so, obviously you can't fix the holes in the leaves, but any new growth coming out will be, will be hole free. Um, and again, if you follow it up every, every two to three weeks, you're going to be set. Um, and that just ensures that any remaining moths have been have been uh, taken care of so there you go it is literally as simple as that that is how you take care of caterpillars in the garden hopefully you all enjoyed hopefully you learned something new and as always i hope you all are growing bigger going home let me know if you've, you've if you've used bt in the comments box below i'd be interested to know how it worked for you and uh yeah because i mean i could speak from personal experience that it's worked great so i'd be uh I'd be interested to see how it worked for you as well. So, all right, hopefully y'all enjoyed. I'll catch you later. This is Luke from the Am I Gardener channel. See ya, bye.